Hi, this is James with Thermal Battery Systems. Going to be doing another uh, video on the configuration of uh, thermostat. This is a Honeywell Focus Pro 5000. There's the model number, and I'll put a link below to the installation and owner's manual. This is the thermostat here. In order to get into the configuration menu, you press this button and this one, hold them down. Okay, the first item is the um, is setting up this thermostat for how many stages of heating or cooling it'll have. Ten is the setting for a three heat, two cool operation with auxiliary heat. And it can be anywhere between zero and ten, and each of those is listed in the first pay, you know, the first uh, menu item there as far as system type. So we're gonna leave that on ten. Next item number two is the changeover valve. Uh, zero means it's energized in the cooling mode, the O or B terminal, and one means the O or B terminal is, is uh, energized in the heating mode. So we want it energized in the cooling mode, so we're going to leave that as it is. Number seven, it skips up to the cycle rate of the auxiliary heat. Um, this is going to be cycles per hour that it's listing here. You can go all the way up to 12 cycles per hour, or I think the fa I think it's set on five is the factory uh, setting. Number eight is also cycles rate per hour of the emergency heat, which is the same thing as the auxiliary terminal in terms of how it's wired. That would be bringing on the strip heat element. So uh, again, that cycle rate per hour. It's going to depend upon which setting it's at. If you've got the mode set to um, emergency heat only, it's probably then going to be looking at this menu item. And the other one, it would be looking at it in terms of using energizing that strip heat element as an auxiliary element when the heat pump is also running. Okay, number nine is the cycle rate per hour of first stage compressor. So this would be the Y terminal and it can be up to six cycles per hour and uh, it's recommended to be on three according to the uh, Honeywell manual. Number 10 is the cycle rate per hour of second stage compressor. So the Y2 terminal also can go up to six and is recommended to be on three. In most of these applications these thermostats are going to be um, connected to single compressors that have two stages. So it isn't as if you're really actually cycling that second stage. I mean, you you are, you're ramping it up into second stage, but it isn't like the primary contactors engaging and the heat pump is uh, uh, starting up fresh each time. So it, it's not really the same thing as the cycle rate that would be on first stage if you're talking about a single compressor that has two stages. Okay, number 12, I forget what that is. Let's go over here and check. Number 12 is manual or auto changeover. So you can have, uh, basically you can set it up as um, zero is manual changeover, uh, one is automatic changeover and manual included. You could do either one. And two would be m automatic only. I like uh, to be able to manually adjust it, so I'm gonna leave that on zero. Okay, 14, I think this is Fahrenheit or Celsius, yes it is, okay, so we're going to go back. So zero would be um, Fahrenheit and one would be Celsius, so I'm going to leave it on Fahrenheit. 15 is the uh, compressor protection, so you can do anywhere between one minute to five minutes of delay between, it's kind of another one of these cycle protection things, similar to the other ones earlier, except for this one will say, it, you know, it won't let it come on within a certain number of minutes if you have this compressor protection on. Most heat pumps have internal compressor protection, and uh, just in testing purposes, I shut this thing off so I can get uh, quicker you know, I can I can make the uh, the terminals energize faster without that internal delay. Okay, 26 is the uh, auxiliary heat control. Uh, this is worth knowing uh, whether or not this is the um, it's zero would be on comfort, one would be on economy. Um, essentially, if you are have a system where the strip heat is coming on too often and the customers are complaining of a high 
utility bill and uh, you determine that's because they are uh, messing with the thermostat set points a lot and that's bringing on the strip heat uh, it's better to leave this on one which would be economy you're gonna have less likelihood and more delay before the thermostat is going to bring on the strip heat and zero is again comfort where that's going to be bringing the strip heat on in a, in a faster manner um, okay so 27 is just your high limit of 90 and 28 is your low limit there on cooling of 50 so that's that takes you back to one so essentially it should be configured and let's try and make it work now Okay, so the system is uh, it's saying 73 with this light shining on it. Let's take the system to um, the uh, heating mode first, and we'll bring it up to a call. So we should start to get a call here. There we go. So what we've got is the G terminal has energized, the Y terminal has energized. We do not have second stage, we do not have strip heat, and of course we do not have an O terminal. So right now the display is reading heat on and if we try and take it up higher and we, we want more stages to come on or something, uh, there is not a fast action anticipation rate uh, menu item in this. So what I've determined is that it, depending on the cycle rate, um, is going to depend on how off or how long it takes to bring on the second element and also depending on that comfort setting that you put in there as far as how long it waits and anticipates whether or not it's gaining on the set point before it brings on the um, second stage compressor so obviously I mean we're asking for a lot of heat there when we just got second stage so that was approximately one minute after the initial heat turned on it brought on that second stage and then it's uh, you know it doesn't say anything different within on the face of the thermostat so that was always one confusing thing when troubleshooting these things is to f to see is it trying to ask for second stage compressor or not well we would have no way of knowing by looking at the display it does not say heat on plus two it, it didn't change the display any when that minute passed and then it energized the um, the, the second heat now it will actually say auxiliary heat on as soon as it decides the next minute goes by and that should be happening pretty quick here but um, you know we'll just make sure that we're still asking for lots of heat there um, it will energize this uh, this W terminal and then when it does that it will say auxiliary on there we go we have auxiliary heat on okay so take it back down now it's gonna leave everything on again until we get it down to the area and then it'll take those back off okay now let's go into we can take it to the emergency mode and then give it a call and then we should just get fan and we should just get W terminal so G should come on there's G and W terminal came on okay now let's uh, let's take it out of emergency heat and go to cooling take it down give it a couple degrees under so now we should get fan first stage compressor reversing valve we got that and then now it will take another minute it will see that it's not gaining on the cooling set point particularly with the light shining on it here it's internally probably still seeing that it's warming and not cooling but um, I you know I haven't been able to make it do anything as far as you know moving the set point further away and getting it to automatically bring it on even though I believe we left it on that uh, on zero which was the comfort set point which should be bringing on the second stage compressor faster um, but in any case uh, what I've seen is uh, is a one minute wait time with the way that I have it configured and then it'll be bringing on the second stage so it should be just a second longer and we'll see that happen and then we will have basically covered uh, covered our bases to make each of the calls occur how we wanted it to so there it was Y2 is now on so now uh, again nothing happened on the display of the thermostat as far as cool it doesn't say plus two it doesn't 
there's no indications that the Y2 terminal has energized, but it has. Obviously, we are we are lit up on Y2. So that's pretty much that. Um, I will uh, pull this thing off here now. We'll just take it up above there. It's going to stay with that thing energized with the O terminal energized unless we switch that thing to the heating mode. If we go to the heating mode, it takes that back off. Now it gave it back a heating call again. So let's just pull off here and pull it off and see how we got this thing wired. Okay, so if you'll notice at the top it says conventional, at the bottom it says heat pump. So going across the bottom, we've got our R terminals jumpered together there. Um, we've got the Y terminal, we've got common, which is again op you know optional if you've got batteries in it. Um, we've got the O slash B terminal. We've got the G terminal for the fan. And we've got the auxiliary slash E terminal, which is Again, they're, they're, it's the same terminal, so whether you want to call it auxiliary or emergency. And then we have the L term, Y2 terminal, and then we have the L terminal. The L terminal is an output, which would be for a fault. In case, in other words, it's an output from something like a therm, from the heat pump that would tell the thermostat that the heat pump has uh, locked out or is having an issue. So. That's pretty much that. Thanks for watching.